What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, we need to talk about something that's going on right now, and it's Terra Luna. I was in a live stream today that I had to completely rename my live stream to the end of Terra Luna. And the reason why is because Terra dropped 90 plus percent today. 90 plus percent after dropping 50 percent the day before dropping 90 plus percent in the last 24 hours absolutely insane movement and people are wondering why is it the death of terra luna is it something that happened within you know the connection here what's going on why is it dropping so much well we're going to go ahead and explain um, exactly why we did see this drop and uh, if there's a way of it coming back and also about the fact that within that live stream there are people that doubled or tripled or quadrupled their money while we were talking. And um, it's really amazing to be able to have that conversation and talk to people about what will happen and what could happen. So <clears throat> we're going to go through all of this stuff. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one, because this is definitely something that we need to at least understand a little bit. So let's go ahead and dive into this first we're going to look at where terra luna actually is so terra luna currently is at two dollars and 57 cents which is way higher than where it was earlier this morning it was at a low here as you can see right here it was at 83 cents of a low so 83 cents of a low and getting up to two dollars and 50 cents you're obviously seeing a massive increase there and you can triple your money within that <clears throat> so we can see that in the last 24 hours, the high was $32. Now, I thought yesterday was a good price and where things were, and I thought it would find a way to recover. However, we saw more of a drop um, yesterday than we did the day before, than we did the day before that. Understand that this wasn't um, something that was you know, comfortable around $2 or $3 or even $30, really. If you look at the history of Terra Luna, just looking at the history, people asked me, hey, is this a good price up in this 120, up in this $100 range? And I told them no, right? The reason why I told them no was because it shows that it does have potential, right? You're seeing it at a, you know, 10 plus, 20 plus, 40 plus billion dollar market cap. Um, but it's, it moves way too fast, right? I think that whenever something moves too fast, you look at it at its highs and you end up risking yourself buying high and selling low. So I decided that I wasn't going to make that move and that anything around this level of about 30, 40, 50 um, uh, dollars would be a good buy in price to basically, you know, maybe double your money. Right. Well, it surpassed that. It fell way below. It, and I thought yesterday was a good price around twenty eight dollars. <throat> and I'm glad I didn't make that move because it dropped down to. 83 cents today which even if you did make that move dollar cost averaging down would have given you that same opportunity to gain as much as other people did um when they invested in you know <clears throat> right now it's a high risk to high reward ratio but we'll get into all of that later so why did this happen if we wanted to look at terra luna we have two factors we have terra luna and we have terra usd we have a uh, ust and we have luna over here now this is the stable coin that's supposed to be pegged to a dollar well what what's crazy is it ended up um you know unpegging right from that dollar i don't, I don't know the actual term but ended up um not being um you know, a dollar anymore, going down to 98 cents, 97 cents, 95 cents, all of that. Now, when this decreases, when this decreases, you have an automatic like algorithm that goes through to where more Luna is created. Now, when more Luna is created, it's created to buy up the USD or um, UST here <clears throat> to basically bring the value of this stable coin back up, right? It's an automatic feature to where you basically want to, um, you know, uh, maintain that value of a dollar to make sure it's automatically pegged to that dollar. Uh, however, it dropped so fast that it had to have a factor to where not only people were, um, you know, uh, selling their position in Luna, but they were also selling their position in UST. This is a big problem because if they are selling that position, it's decreasing that price, which essentially you have to create more Luna and you have that um, you have that guaranteed or you have that that uh, fact that it did create more Luna because when I first started looking at this, it was at 500 million uh, Luna that was created. Now, I don't know how much was created before then because it did drop more. It dropped 50%, then it dropped 90%. <clears throat> but just through this morning, 150 million more coins were minted, right? Created and added to circulating supply to basically, um, you know, 
take that and buy more um, UST to bring up the value. Now we've seen this at a low price here of 29 cents. It's now increasing to 44 cents. It's finding ways to increase back up to a level to where it can be pegged to that dollar. But people are asking, is this going to recover? Are people going to find this, uh, have an ability to fully recover where it was? Well, it's definitely tough. When you see things that collapse this much, any history of this happening has not gone well, right? Um, and this is the thing. It's something that's so big that Terra Luna is huge at tens of billions of dollars worth of a market cap. It's a way bigger coin um, than what anything else um, was out there that was pegged to any stable coin in, in any way, right? You have different scenarios. And the biggest scenario or the biggest difference is the fact that this is a huge coin versus a smaller coin or token, right? <clears throat> so, um, with this increasing in price, as we go through the day, we're going to keep an eye on this, but there's really two options, right? You can look at it as a high risk for Luna. If you wanted to get into Luna, you can look at it as a high risk, high reward and basically say, I have a hundred dollars. I want to invest a hundred dollars here. It was at a dollar. I wanted to buy a hundred coins, which I couldn't do when it was at $80 or when it was at a hundred dollars. <throat> but now I can buy a hundred coins and see it possibly get back to those points. Um, um, but then you can also look at it and say that I don't want to get into this and I'm just going to let it go and let it ride. Well, um, either way, I feel like if you are already invested into it and you wanted the dollar cost average down, some people within the live stream already made money from it, already doubled, tripled, um, their investment and they average down some people just got into it right now and they ended up profiting out of it and you can see here as we go through the the um trading view if we go through the last um i guess 30 minutes or so <clears throat> you can see how this has risen right it increased up to two dollars and eighty cents decreased down to 130 and then increased back up to three dollars before resisting here creating higher highs and higher lows showing a lot of positivity here which is a really really good thing for terra luna so the reason why you would see this happen and the confirmation that this happened is you had 500 million circulating supply 150 million was created in order to raise the price of ust and that's exactly what they did we're getting back to 50 cents finding a way to get back to a dollar and then you can find a way to get back to stabilizing um within this position however <clears throat> as you create more coins here as you create more um throughout this position the less likely it can get back to previous highs understand that with more coins um basically shows that you are decreasing the price ceiling of the position right um it's just like with shiba inu where you're doing the exact opposite so look at it i guess glass half full glass half empty however you want to look at it but i do see potential within this position especially at some of these low prices but you want to find the right uh point to get into it you can see here that right now even though this price is not updating uh the price is currently at three dollars and twenty cents so it's currently rising as people bought in at 75 cents some people got in at 60 cents <clears throat> and even though it only says 83 cents other exchanges showed it at a lower price um but they bought in at those levels and now they're profiting out of it. So I'm glad that I could at least help out some people and make some money from this, maybe dollar cost average down and get a ton out of it. But right now, um, you know, it seems like Terra Luna is definitely a buying opportunity for a lot of people. And um, that would include me, but I haven't made that move yet and I don't know if I will. But um, what I'm saying is, <clears throat> All of these moves that happened this morning with Terra Luna um, is definitely structured in the right manner. And it's literally something that's automatically happening, happening, right? If I go to trading view, let's look at where their price is. So their price right now is around 50 cents. So it says here it's 47, but it's actually 50 cents uh, right now. <clears throat> so you let me know what you're thinking um about this position is it something that's a buy opportunity for you this is the reason why it happened i mean you have the connection you have the automatic you know algorithmic trading that's going on with both of those to where us ust needs to hold its value and the way that you hold your value is by creating more luna to buy more ust uh so uh, you let me know what you think. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's definitely something that was very interesting this morning. 90% decrease for Terra Luna, and now you're seeing things start to come back and look very positive there. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.